This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2005 Ford F-250, regular cab long bed. It is an XL, which is a work truck. It is a 6.0 turbo diesel and it's four wheel drive. It has 78,400 miles. It was a theft recovery purchased directly from an insurance company in Las Vegas. Um, it's an automatic XL. It's got an AM FM radio. It's got air conditioning and that's it. Vinyl seats, vinyl floor, work truck, all right? Um, it's on a salvage title due to theft, not collision. If you watch the little three minute animated video that we have in our salvage theft ads, it'll teach you what that's about. But basically it's the insurance company's lawyers don't want any more liability. Once they sell it to us, they never want to see it again. The way they do that, uh, and they're sure they do that, is by giving it a salvage title. That way if we buy it from them, we sell it to you on a salvage title, you kill yourself, Lawyers for you can't go back to the people with the most money, the insurance company, and sue them. On a salvage title, that obviously implies no guarantee or warranty. That's why they do it. It's paperwork. There'll be four uh, pictures of it before it left Las Vegas. You'll be able to see those. It's the same truck, except that there's a bunch of writing the insurance people put on it. They circle stuff like the scratch, you know, and make a big drama. I guess that justifies them being there. I'm not really sure. I think the gestures are sort of like... Uh, politicians you know anything to make them <laughs> make their paychecks worthy uh, of being there make them whatever important because obviously they've got to get paid for doing something so they give them a little blue marker and they get a circle stuff anyway um, the biggest thing that this thing's got going on is right there somebody crunched the fender underneath a little bit I wouldn't fix it but if you wanted to fix it, all you'd have to do is buy a used white Ford Fender. And there's a zillion of them out there. You could probably buy one for 50 bucks and bolt it on. I wouldn't do it. Waste of 50 bucks. Um, obviously, somebody bought brand new tires for it right before they uh, got stolen. Right before the truck got stolen. Um, and that's a very good thing. We'll stay in the seat. Stay right there. Show you the Kelly Blue Book on this truck. Kelly Blue Book on this truck is, that's for an XL, that's a work truck. Kelly is $12,379, and that is the equipment that I added to get that number, so that's all accurate. All right, I'm going to show you underneath the truck. There's a, a gallery of photos I just took that... Uh, has about 75 pictures, photographs, that uh, has a little uh, magnifying glass that you can uh, click on, that you can zoom in on. It's like putting your face a couple inches away from the truck. Um, if you see something you really want to see up close, just click on that magnifying glass and roll it over that spot. You'll be able to see it. Um, so cosmetic should never be an issue. All right, just... Uh, inspect and look and everything else uh, the point of these videos is not to sell the truck the truck will sell itself it's to find the right person um, if we uh, BS and tell people what they want to hear uh, make stuff up we end up selling the truck to somebody and uh, they're not they won't get what they expect especially if they ship it and we get screamed at and that's totally not worth it when we have 500 people at least a day seeing these vehicles um, it's not a brick and mortar that we own so we don't we don't have to depend on the one person in a month that'll walk onto our property and uh and try to sell it to them all right we, we're not that desperate uh, we, we we actually are more interviewing the uh, buyers than the buyers are checking out the vehicle we want to make sure the right person buys the right car um, that way there's no drama and everything's happy and everyone gets what they want. We get paid, you get the vehicle you want, and there's no drama. Anyway, I'm gonna show you under the hood. I'm gonna take the oil cap off. When I take the oil cap off, you're gonna be looking for smoke that's called blow by. Everyone in the diesel world knows what that is. I'm told there's none of that in this truck. That's true. There's none of that in this truck. 
And then we're looking for Ford stamps. There's a Ford stamp right there. Stickers where they belong. Should be another Ford stamp here. Right there. And another one there. The Ford stamps indicate that uh, all the front end parts are the same uh, and original. And that would mean that they haven't replaced anything and then it hasn't been crashed. Okay? That's why we look for those. Like I said, there's no tilt, there's no cruise. This is what we call in the uh, car business a strippy. Um, which I think, if you're gonna work with it, is better, less to break. My guys uh, do a two hour inspection. During that inspection, uh, my, <laughs> my shop manager asked me to buy 500 more of these uh, so that he could stay home and uh, watch uh, TV all day long because they're that easy. Um, this one didn't even need an oil change. All we did with this was give it a new ignition because the car thief broke the ignition. And let's see, what else? Take the brake off. Uh, and the door lock cylinder. He broke the door lock cylinder. So that's all we did. Well, this was about as easy as it's ever been. There's your air. That is blowing cold. Radio works fine. Cup holder. Toe on. Off. There you go. Let's see if I can do this one handed now. Put it in neutral. I'm going to go to four high. Now we're in four high. Drive. Reverse. That's in four high. Put it in neutral. Now we're in four low. That's definitely four low. And we're in reverse in four low. Perfect. Now we're going to go back to two wheel drive. Now we're in two wheel drive. Let's go for a ride. All right. Obviously, you need plates and insurance if you're going to drive anywhere. So if you come here to drive at home, uh, you need plates and insurance. You can get neither on the salvage title, which is what it's on now. We have to take it to uh, motor vehicles to get a level three inspection. That's done by the cops. They do a level three inspection. Then we can take the inspection and the salvage title and get what's called restored salvage title. Then you can get plates and then we can issue you, uh, uh, then you can get insurance and we can issue you plates, okay? So that's mandatory. We charge $200 to do that before you get here or before it ships out if you want us to do it before it ships, okay? Um, then there's a $250 dock fee, and then there's taxes. Taxes are 2% city sales tax here in Tucson, plus whatever your state tax rate is. So if your state tax rate is 3%, you'll pay 5%. Very simply, just add 2% to your state tax rate. You'll know what you're going to pay if you're going to come here and drive it home. This thing runs fantastic. <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah. Uh, yeah, my, my shop manager is correct. Uh, anyway. Uh, what else? Uh, if you pay by wire and ship, all you're obligated to pay is the agreed upon price. If you want us to have it inspected uh, and get a, the title restored before it leaves, uh, add $200. Uh, I strongly urge you to do that unless you're positive you can do it yourself. Um, when it gets to your state, all we're going to be able to provide you with if you ship is the truck itself, obviously, uh, bill of sale, and the uh, Arizona salvage title that we have. Okay. Let's see, what else? Uh, deposit, deposit is $500. Once we receive your deposit, we have a deal and we will uh, put your name in a banner over the truck at wheelconnects.com and you'll know it's yours. Until then, it is for sale. Last part of the speech is the warranty speech. There is none. Um, it is a really low mile 6.0, it runs great. There's no blow by. Um, keep changing the oil and you'll be fine. But you know, the people at Ford gave it, when they sold this thing, it was a five year, 60,000 mile warranty. It's passed the, that on both of them. So please realize there's some risk involved in buying this vehicle. The people at Ford said failed on the, on the warranty a couple years ago and a couple miles ago. Basically they're saying, we don't know what's gonna happen after that many miles or that many years. And they built the damn thing, okay? We don't know more than the people who built it at Ford. We do know an awful lot about 6.0s like a ton. And this is a really, really good one.
but that's today. You know what I mean? Uh, it could get to you, and the day you get it gets to you, it could need an air conditioning compressor. It could need a new radio. It could need an injector. Who knows? Okay. If it does, go get one and get it fixed. It's your truck. Okay. This is the type of thing we tell people so that we make sure that the right person ends up in the right vehicle. There's no sense in BSing people, telling people that something's going to be perfect when we don't know. We don't know what's gonna happen, okay? Uh, so keep it real. Uh, it is a low mile truck and it's a heck of a truck. Um, but we wanna make sure that people realize that uh, you know there, there's some risk involved. And if you don't want risk, you gotta go buy a brand new one. And I think a brand new XL, uh, with the six seven in it, four wheel drive, regular cab. I'm told they're about thirty five to forty, depending on how basic they are. This one's probably more like thirty five, you know. And then you'll have a warranty, and you know when your warranty's up, uh, you'll still owe twenty something thousand dollars on it probably, and that'll be that, right? So, you know, just realize that there, you know, this is not this is not uh, dreamland. This is not a perfect car. People who say things are perfect. You know, perfect used car does not exist. I don't care if it's a Lamborghini or a Porsche or anything. It just doesn't exist. And people who tell you that are BSing. All right? Just uh, making sure that our people know what they're doing. And if you don't, I've never bought diesel. Please talk to a diesel person so that you know what you're buying. Um, most of our customers already know everything about diesel. The Bugaboo on 6.0s obviously is the EGR cooler. And we do offer, in the middle of our ad, you'll see that, we do offer a bulletproofing, uh, the bulletproof EGR cooler and the Ford oil cooler for 1900 That includes the gaskets and the fluids. It's a really, really good deal. Um, that's only for buyers. If anyone who comes off the street with a 6.0 is going to pay between 2900 and 3500 depending on how busy we are, uh, because it is some work. And... Uh, you know, we're really not making anything at $1,900. Uh, it's just for our, our for our buyers. Um, if you want that, let us know. Add that to the deal, um, and uh, we'll do that for you. On this one, 78,000 miles, no blow-by. I wouldn't do it. I would just keep the oil changed, filter changed uh, consistently, and you should be fine. Okay? Anyway, that's